Hello there, Spiro here with another Golden Sample of the Week. This time I'm going to show you some features from one of our add-ons to VCAS, our Data Connect. Data Connect makes use of stored procedures in your databases in order to pull information into VKS. Now this information can be as little or as much as you want and it's returned in an XML format. This and good applications of this are used in calibration databases for tools, anything that uses a test bench that collects voltage or any other data, and you want to have that data returned to VCAS along with a pass or a fail so that the operator knows if something is good or bad. And then all that data is saved and stored in the same place in VKS. We have our work instruction open. I'm going to start it up here and we're going to advance through. Now you're going to see the standard stuff here. You're going to see the work order number. We're going to see our step-by-step -step process. There's a little bit of data collection in here. So we have our serial number that we're entering of our component. And in this example, we're simulating a voltage check on a circuit board. We're going to put in our serial number. We'll put that in. That's our serial number of our board. We go through our standard process. And we're going to get to the point where we're going to run a test and see what the results are. So at some point, what VCAS is going to do is ask to send a request to the database. It's VCAS is going to say, hey, go run this stored procedure, give me a pass-fail, and collect this data and bring it back to me. So that's what's going to happen here. We're going to select Send Request. And then VCAS is going to return a request to us. And in this case, it was a passed request. So the item passed, all its different tests, and all that data is being collected and sent to VCAS and saved and stored in the reports, which I'll show you here in a minute. But I want to go through one more unit and mark a fail so that I can show you a little bit of everything here. A little bit of variety, right? So we'll type in another serial number, and then we will save that. You're also noticing we're using the data section to collect the serial number information, which is kind of cool. We go through, we perform our process, and then this time we're going to send another request. Now, at this point in time, the data is already in the database. We're just reaching out and saying, hey, collect me this specific data based off of these parameters. That's what we're doing. We send another request, and then this time we're seeing that this one is a fail. Now this one is a fail. We can take action upon that, and you can set up your different rules, which is another cool thing about Data Connect. If I advance through, I say continue. It's going to open me up to a different page here, and this is the rules that I have set in, and it's going to say, hey, I have a failed test, nonconformance, and my nonconformance form opens up automatically, and I can fill this out. And I'll just throw in some random stuff here. It's a rework, uh, failed voltage, and affected quantity one. Uh, you know, we could have a serial number in here too or something like that, but you get the idea. So then we have our nonconformance that automatically opens up. So you can automatically take actions based off of different things as well, like a failed action. All this stuff's being saved and stored in the reports for VKS, so we can at any point in time take a look at those reports. And I'm going to save this number right here. We're going to copy that because that's going to be my easy way to find this. Because I don't think I pop open the reports at the beginning. So that's OK, though, because we can easily find this stuff. And then we can take a look. Uh, so there's different ways you can find this information. You can look at your reports. You can take a look at your itemized individual reports here. And you can see all your data connect results. And you're going to be able to see your passes, your fails, and your parameters. In addition to that, any information that was stored and collected. And this could be, like I said, a little bit of information, a lot of information. Any of this stuff you can view and you can download. So if we want to view the data output, we can see the XML output here. And we can see all the information, this ton of data that was exported and sent to VKS based off of that stored procedure. Well, like I said, it could be a little bit, could be a lot of information. It's completely up to you. It's completely how you have your stored procedures set up. So you've got this information and you've got it in the reports here. In addition to that, there's another section that is data connect results. We can go into the data connect results section and this will also show you all your different information. Individually, it'll show you your different records, right? So it'll see uh, here, pass, fail, pass, fail what work instruction, what's your work order number, different things like that. And you'll still be able to view and download that information here. So you have a couple of different avenues for viewing that information and retrieving it. Uh, thank you very much for 
listening to me again today. Thank you very much for checking out this work instruction. If you're interested in learning more, let us know. Reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to show you more information on this or any of the other features in VKS. And again, thank you very much, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.